Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a replacement or alternative to the Windows File Explorer. So you could use both or one or the other, or have a replace it I believe as well. It's called Explorer++, so it's a free download. I just did the standalone version where you just extract the zip file, and I believe there's an installer version as well. You'd have to see on the website to confirm that. So once you have it downloaded, just double click the executable, and it actually remembered where you left off last time, which is kind of nice. And then you have your typical, you know, you got your home menu here with your typical shortcuts like you'd have in File Explorer. And then you could expand, you know, even have Control Panel, which is nice. And you could expand it, then if you click on something, it'll do that. And then you have your back and forward buttons here too, just like in your uh, web browser. And then if you want to open a new tab, you could do that too. Let's say we want to do Documents, right click on it. Open a new tab, and then you could toggle back and forth. Then you could also, you know, click on your drive letters to see those if you have more than one hard drive. And then when you right-click on the files, you have the same options you would in File Explorer. And then, of course, you have the columns here, which you could drag and move around and add more columns to, which I'll get to in a second here. Uh, multiple items on the toolbar here. You know, cut, copy, paste, delete. There's a delete permanently. If you want to see the properties, you know, which will just open up the Windows properties. You have search options here, which is kind of nice. Add a new folder, copy to, move to. If you want to change your views, this is nice too. Open command prompt and list location. You got refresh, and you can bookmark it and manage your bookmarks. And at the top here, you have a bunch of options for new tab, close tab, reopen the recent tabs, which is a nice feature too. Clone the windows, uh, command prompt administrator, and then, you know, depending if you have files highlighted, you'll get different options here. Copy folder path, delete permanent, rename, set attributes. This is a really nice feature as well. Oh, your edit, move to folder, copy to folder, shortcuts, resolve links. Select all, wildcard selects. So let's say you wanted to do everything that was a JPEG. You could do that and it'll highlight it. And you could deselect it as well. And you have your view options here, toolbars, change your icon size, your sorting options, select columns. If you want to add more columns to this view here. Save column layouts, display window colors, filter options, actions, so split file and merge file. So if you have a big file, you could use this to split it up, and then you could actually come back and merge it again. I'm not, use, not sure how useful this will be, but you know maybe if you wanted to email something, you could split it up into a bunch of different files, email them, and then the other person could merge it together using the same program here. Uh, the go options, you know, for navigation, then you can see your bookmarks if you bookmark folders, tools, you can customize the colors if you want for files, and you have your options, general appearance, change your theme, some typical file explorer type options, options for windows and tabs, advanced options, and of course the window you could do the search. You can see you got a little preview down here as well. So it does a lot of things, so I didn't cover everything. We just kind of did the quick overview. So if you don't like File Explorer and if you want something that has some extra features, so I will put a link in the description where you could download this and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.